you didn't come out na good towns and same because uh one more uh, issue clear concern to his excellency mm. the uh, president uh, it looks like a uh, benchmark values are one more edge uh, our port you know they have gotten indications that they want to increase it mm. seeing the impact this increase would have on a uh, good side if i'm on an air banner as a finance suspect, what will be your take on this matter? I uh, mean, I must say, I can't say I check a crowd. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, before we start the discussion, I want us to trace our steps back in. Yeah, you understand what's a benchmark and crowd if you need a buyer. Mm. So that at least people would understand. So basically, a bit do be in the budget, uh, budget statement of Ghana two, three years ago. The government's intention was there. The, clear, the cost of clearing goods are uh, generally a friendly benchmark ever possible. Or more air is stable. It's a flat, um, uh, at least. But that having said, you know, the Association of Ghana Industries, uh, AGIA, so Muka says, Sebio, yeah, you see a person, you share your factories, me, Uncle Prejuma, your poor, more Ghana, uh, uh, business, no better to pull. So, yeah, yes, that benchmark value now or more you know how to be prepared because they will not be able to compete with the corona of the premium and public ever so we will carry agi was against it said we should rather look at the policy however no, young to me uncle and proceed so now the benchmark value now the man importers no which buta is saying is said since you are rich now can you do my own in some few years back, no, and yes, you see a sign and the idea you might say, I could say the cost of importation has really gone up. Mm -hmm. So if the cost of importation has gone up, it defeats the purpose of the benchmark. So they are also suggesting say maybe I can do the M more money. So directly you cannot blame them for taking that decision because mm -hmm. say be, maybe six months ago or imported maybe are not OTR seven. Uh, one Ghana seed, uh, one dollar to seven cities. So see, I call almost fifteen, sixteen. So one can say be yet. So that's how they are angry. Say they will be making more losses, and invariably, yeah, say be yet on your memory or hormone. Yeah, na eba be bread. Inche interest here for the benchmark. No, so I na akoye see see. Openi mo na mo finance, mo tia se mo na economics, mo tia se. And yet counterproductive. Say a buy a bond home more than say. Uh, we bring up more revenue for a uh, government project project. Mm. Now, mm. after the goods now, and into we increase taxes now at the port now, and as a benchmark value now at the port now. So, go see the drill more anymore. The trader is also adding the cost of the taxes in it. Now, the bona cost now, and also I could drive inflation now. Yes, you must say air cost now, and you're counterproductive. Well, from where you sit and say the new man cost is here, they'll be able to say counterproductive. Mm. Because I quite a task is no and one soon I eat here. Go into our port, run out to your port, who be few swabs of the TV as a car. A coin here, air on So it is counterproductive. But at the end of the day, no, I'm I'm very sure. And now in your news item, breaking news, I said, the shop I wore a crumb or a crumb with him. But also in him. Uh, yes, more. yes, yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, yes, 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 it is largely counterproductive because so I'll say oh the tax also am at our importation mo now say the also done on my inflation the dollar rate less of course you are and yourself say be one now can eat that one open you as one mind baby it's there you know your problem pan is saying I didn't do it yeah okay and maybe you didn't come up with me on the CD and the dollar discussion and I'm a car say until you solve your structural issues of how we do our business, especially internally and in externally with our partners. A better day. Make us say Ghana, we are largely import dependent. We are okay to see our good affordable. In your mom, they ban it from our neighbor. So now, see you have a nice share new money. We have been more one can you bet to me? I then I hear our Ghana. It be a year, your money doing better. So I bring it up with you, but for a long time, I brought for no more year. I crack a crown, I will build the capacity and money a year. But mm. if you just want to suddenly jump and get to their level, a better day. So because we are import dependent, you know, and push inflation, oh, yeah. may I say your relationship with foreign investors, you know, 
Sabi, o ko amano ni baby ya. O ko ya investment na. Sabi, ni ko America na ni ko investment kia. Ni nya, ito yi sana dividend. E waswa, o ko nga mi fa dollar ni enko. O mo, kwande swa, you reinvest and take a po. Ni ya dini se bonti sa. All the big, big multinational from where this is from. Ni ya mo, ni ya fa swa ba. Si kane ni na ya de, e ko. So it puts so much pressure. So until we start to change the fundamental structures, now you can say, study, Bank of Ghana can say, moon beer and ginger, any dollar, to be our system. Oh, and that is the promoter, a boy has to a soprano, a dollar, do both at the same time. And you open my, you can be a ton of dollar. Who gets to a ton of dollar? Who gets to a ton of dollar? So it's a very worrying situation. It's institutional, it is structural, and we have to look at some policy direction. Yes, sir, study. Is there hope for us with all that the finance ministry, the assurances which they've been given us? Is there hope? Uh, uh, in fact, in finance, we have hope and yes, strategy because hope they are going to say, who to church and be severed to me, I could say it for hope to work or for hope to come into reality. Like I mentioned, I was saying to you, mm. we should look at what we can do in the short term as a nation, mm. in the medium term, and in the long term. Idea is to be see that. So, be any idea be we and I be a be a be solving of who says yes. And besides, in the next six months to buy, it will be to me a year. You know, when it be to me a year, be to me a boy business. So, see, I'm in no case now. Inflation almost fifty percent now. The basic understanding is that for thousand cities now they start a few more and then I have five and six. But no man now they thousand and two and they still in control. So in the short term, what do we do to local industries? What do we do is electricity board cost, we store board cost. So we should not just go. Yes, so we are doing in our prayer. Go. Yes, start it. The law of industry. Of confidence to the more we don't know the full details, people will continue to speculate and there will be anxiety. But we have to act quickly and there should be a strong intervention from the handlers of the economy. Harrison, I hope I know you know it didn't come out with a year input crack at the air from a year expects view. No, you know, more than see and have a cut for it's very, very important to we get good at this morning to speak to them so that they can throw more light on a year and come out. You know, and what steps they might take if the GRE decides to go ahead with the increase we are talking about importers and exporters. Woman, a cofan no man, Eddie Freeman, or McClain no man. If we a year port one at the ma in traders, you know, one must swear my own position on this matter. What have they heard on this matter? You need something, uh, Asaki Awingo bit in Nincomo, or no, and a year president, my importers and exporters in any Nincomo. Something, good morning, good morning, Isen. Now, I know what I'm saying. I'm good, yourself. Ah, we're doing well, we're doing well. The last time we met at the place, that's all. I haven't heard from you again. Ah, you so <laughs> you support look for me, I'm not looking for you. Oh, me. how <laughs> you're my senior brother. <laughs> Me, I was supporting your campaign as well. Hey, no problem, no problem. Something, Guta is giving us signals that government through the GRE has an intention of increasing the benchmark values of the port. How true is this, if you've heard? Well, I think yesterday morning, um, we all woke up to see a distress message coming from the Freehold fraternity, hmm. uh, alerting us that there's something fishy going on at the at the port hmm. and so we were all um after myself i was on tv live on program when the messages started coming hmm. and so after the program i decided to uh, make further checks and further calls to find out uh, what actually is the problem and what we realize is that if you take a commodity like the old chicken that you know our poultry pharmacy yeah, buy from People who bring the old chicken from UK, from Brazil, and other things to mm. feed the poultry industry. This had this had this 
chicken that they bring, chicks, I'm talking of fowls, the, mm. the, the, the babies, uh -huh. mm. uh, we use custom base rate or base value used to be 0 .0, 0 0.80, then they will apply 30% benchmark value, you know, it used to be 50% and they said they take yeah. the 20% of remaining 30%. Yeah. So when the 30% is started on the 0 0.80, it comes to a value of 0 0.56. Okay. Then the customer then used that 0 0.56 to calculate the duty for you to pay. Mm. Now, what we saw yesterday was that they moved the day-old chicken from 0 0.80 to 0 0.87. Sorry, so 0 0.85 meaning they've increased by five pesos or five whatever you can you can you can call it yeah now uh if you move it from 0 0.80 to 0 0.85 then of course 30 percent should apply then we realize that the 30 percent is not on it mm. now if you want if you want you pick a um what do you call it a non-woven uh, uh, sterling uh, lining uh, products that the thing that the, the dressmakers used to line the liners, mm. Mm. which used to be 0 0.0135, they they move it from 0 0.0135 to 0 0.200. Then again, they move another commodity like chicken bags or chicken leg cutter from 0 0.80. Which used to attract a, a benchmark value of 30 percent, then they they made they maintain the 0 0.80, but they've taken the 30 percent away, which means that your 0 0.80 per kilo, which they would have taken strike 30 percent of and calculated hmm. for you or not. So we saw what we saw was that uh, someone who was supposed to pay a duty with a 30 percent discount value at 85,000 suddenly move to 140,000. That is how, 140,000, 150,000, that is how the pot began yesterday. And you know, the government think they are smart, but they are not smart. You know, you know, there was this closure of shops mm. last week mm. where the, uh, the yeah, man, met with the Guta. Yeah. Then from there, the president came back from Eastern region and said, I'm not came back from Asanto region before the Eastern regional tour say he want to meet them. They were called into that meeting the president, whatever the president say, we all heard it. I mean, he wasn't in touch with why Kuta have closed. And we were trying to tell Kuta that even the people who bring more cargo, they did not close. Why did they close? Mm. And 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 later say, okay, I, I'm waiting for my minister of finance. When he comes, we shall see, see what we'll do. Knowing very well that every Tuesday, you remember sometime, I guess the duty exchange rate was 7.2. They move it sometime ending of September to October to 9.5 we were complaining then the following week they moved from 9.5 to 9.6 then get last week when there was closing of shops again and you think that you want to do something about the business community you move you still move up from 9.6 to 10.7 mm. as we speak this morning this morning as we speak the rate supposed to move from 10.7 to 12.7 so so the government knowing that we are putting pressure on them that look if you don't do anything at the port for us then the price of will continue to be rocket sky so okay we'll give them a flat rate but let's 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 push the benchmark values away let them pay the normal uh rate so that uh we can give them we can say okay we have given them flat rate however government has to increase the the cost of doing business at the port so we caught them red-handed one if you look at the Guta statement, it clearly stated, custom, what custom have done is that nobody in this country that bring, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, a transactional value, what I'm a maritime student. Mm. And so we, we, in, in, we, we, we the, the, the best practice, the, 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 the international best practice is that you're supposed to accept transactional value. I went to buy the Bikus and I came, my invoice value is what custom supposed to accept and mm. use it to assess me to pay my duty. Indeed. However, what we've been seeing for so long is that any time duty comes, uh, 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 duty component comes, they don't, custom does not accept importers value. Mm -hmm. They will tell they have their own way of checking their values. And that is why they introduced that benchmark value, which mm. from the one, I said benchmark values was, was ill motive. And I think I, I saw my friends from Kuta use that, it was ill motive. Mm. In, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the place that they managed to convince 
the public, the government is propagandist. They managed to convince the public that, oh, we have reduced the taxes for the business community, yet the price is still high. It's not. Because, uh, Asian, if I bring my product of 100 Ghana cities, mm. and then you move me to 50 Ghana uh, to 150 or, I mean, to 200 Ghana cities, and so you apply 50%, a camera to calculate my duty on the 100 Ghana cities, you have not anything to me. That is simply what was doing, because the business community realized, ah, why would I submit my invoice, and you are not taking it, and you rather increase the cost for me, which I cannot, I have not, I, have, I did not buy the actual product in that price. So I divert my cargo to Lumi, I divert my cargo to Africa. So they were losing revenue. They were losing revenue. If, if, you, want, if you can't know, you rely on Dr. Barone says that, the, his, the vice president, his excellency said that when they did some uh, uh, investigation, they realized that they went to Togo and they saw a lot of container line, line up. And when they asked where they were, where they, were, they were coming to Ghana. And so they needed to do something to make sure that it, 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 they bring some leverage to the visa community so that people will come through. And I said that tax is about compliance. If you raise your tax bar so high, more than if your neighbor can do are doing very well. I will speak the cost of doing business, the cost, uh, the, 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 the prices of goods and services. This COVID, uh, COVID and plus uh, Russia, Ukraine, you go to Africa's cost of doing business is still cheaper. They have, they have even expanded their port to also receive the bigger vesicle like the MPS terminal was set up in Ghana here. Mm. I will speak this November, the, the Africa's will open one of their biggest container terminal that was also put up by the same people that put up the term that contributed their funds to put up the terminal in Tema here. Mm. And so their port is also open for businesses. We said when Tema 3 came, we said we have strategically positioned and we had a hope for, for, for trade. Now we have a competitor whose economic is very good, whose in terms of currency is very stability, whose in terms of cost of borrowing is very stability. I'm talking of Africa's, which is mm. very close to us. And, and they, are part, they are also competing with that with port. So at the end of the day, if care is not taken, our people will get to divert all their cargo to Africa and then clear from there. All right. that's, what, that's the danger we are seeing. Again, if you go to the frozen food importers, you will see that some of this, they have, when the, the vessel arrived in Tampa they have 21 days to clear their, 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 their frozen food containers. As soon as the 21 days we pump, then they said they move it to what we call uncleared cargo lists, mm. UCL. In that UCL, you see people who have gone to pay the duty and said, Customer, reverse my, I paid my duty, reverse it because within the 21 days, I was, I was planning to raise my money to pay the duty. Mm. Now I've raised the money, I paid the duty, but when I went to check, the system says the cargo has exceeded 21 days, so it moved to uncleared cargo lists. Tell them what your custom co sector command should be able to re reverse it for you to take your container without running to demolish your rent. Mm. However, they took this all the way to the GRA headquarters from, from Commissioner of Custom to Commissioner General Office, then now at the Minister of Finance Office. So you will see somebody pay the duty just for them to reverse the container back for them to take it. You will go up and down. If cares nothing about it, by the time you say Jack, the Minister of Finance have auctioned the container to their party apparatus. All that right. is what is also happening to the, the frozen right. food company. Because Something. I have frozen food importers who are complaining that this reversal used to be done within 24 hours. As we speak now, it is three days or more, and people are still casing gas for it to be reversed. This is custom work. All this right. has nothing to do with the policy, the policy maker. Minister of Finance is the policy maker. Why All would right. UCL will be treated at the Minister of Finance? I see for, is it for power drive or what is it? Something, I, I'll thank you for making time to speak to me this morning and for explaining the issues for us this, this morning. Thank you so much, Something.